mediums you can use on it. If you go on YouTube, you'll see a ton of people watercoloring on this, using acrylic paints, all sorts of things. But really, for us, its specialty was alcohol ink, which is why we packaged it in this particular one. When I'm showing you this, it's only fair to compare it to what a lot of people are used to using, which is alcohol ink cardstock, plus of paper. Because I think if you see the side-by-side -side comparison, then you'll understand, oh, okay, that's why it's different than what I've been using. So here I'm going to take an ink applicator tool. And I'm sure, um, Wendy, when you start using this with your archivals, you, it's, you're going to find a whole new use for it, I'm sure. Um, because it was just so fascinating. And I just started seeing stuff on YouTube. So it piqued my curiosity to go back and learn more and more and more about it. People are doing everything from amazing fine art paintings into backgrounds where the stir stick. So, all right. Let's go in and we'll add some color to it. I can't wait till all the labels are changed. I just like that. Thank you. Much nicer. It is. I noticed it immediately. Yeah. Okay. We have to do that new packaging for the new codes or whatever. You know, the whole flammability, whatever. You're going to explode. All right. So I'm just going to go in. I'm going to throw in a lot of colors on here. All right. Probably not going to do the red. Not in the center. All right. So we know that if we use it on alcohol ink cardstock, we're going to get that really nice intense color. And the same thing holds true when you use it on Yupo. But what you are going to notice is how it dries. This is going to dry in that kind of dotted motion. This always smooths out when it dries, which is nice. But another great thing is when we go in and we continue to add layers, one of the things that the alcohol ink cardstock does is it keeps getting darker and darker, more saturated with color. This is going to continue to react with the layer that's underneath. So it's never going to build that muddy intensity. We can always introduce whoops, new layers of color as well. So I want to add some new layers of blue. Maybe we want to add a little bit more green into the mix. If I go in and add this, again, it's just going to get darker. If I go in here, it's going to introduce those new colors, light or dark. Now, when you use blending solution, blending solution on alcohol ink cardstock, we know is going to react, but it's going to react totally different on Yupo. Yupo is going to give it a nice white ring or aura, and the same thing happens when you use colors. Color is always just going to stay dark. Color here is going to go straight cool. to wow. that light color. Yeah, it, re it creates some interesting effects. It starts to get better. Because once we use it and we Sorry, work guys. with it, you can go in and if I were to try to layer through this, it's going to make mud. If I try to layer through this, it's oh going to go. See, I told you. Now it's going to start to get fun. This is where this material is completely forgiving. So it, it starts reacting the same until we get into the playtime. Now I have the ability to go in and start adding inks. I can add different textures to this. I can add different layers of color and we can be um, really as playful or fluid as we want with this particular medium. I can add my inks some layers. Oh, it's going to add a little bit more green. And I'm just going to go in and start playing around with this. Now, I can create those swipes through some of those areas. But as I start to touch this and tap this around, this paper is going to start becoming more and more sensitive to the uh, amount of color or inks that I put on it. So this one, you can see that as you touch it, this becomes really sensitive to the amount of ink that's going over the top of it. Whereas this one, it's not going to do any of that. Okay? And any time, if you decide, oh, you know what, I want to add a little swish, I can go in and add a little swish. It's always going to react exactly uh, the way that you touch it or make it react at any time, which I find really interesting. Okay? So, once we create a background, uh, with Yupo. Yupo also has a much faster drying time than alcohol ink cardstock. This paper is already dry, completely dry on my background. So it's going to allow me to do some cool effects. So here I will take 
mini blending tool and then take some blending solution. Let's take one of the stencils. Did you? There was one small one sitting out there. Did you use your finger thunder ring? No, no, it's not. All right, take care. <laughs> like them all, huh? I adore her. She's so amazing. She's so cute. She's fantastic. Very different yes. back. Thanks. Hair sculpture. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go in and I'll take this and let's take so fun to watch stencil him work. here. I'm going to take some blending solution. This time I'm going to go to foam. I want something a little squishy to, go to do this. Stencil yep. Instead of the felt. The felt won't go through the right. stencil. It'll just right. hit the high point. And I just want to put a little blending solution on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working that. The show is now closing for today. Please make your way to the exit. Thank you so much for attending. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. And that's going to completely remove that from my UFO. Wow. All right? Wow. So that exactly. gives me really great effect. It takes it right out. Now, the show office is located next to the registration area. Let's go with this. So here we've known that you may have seen that resist technique that we do with our archival, and that's always been limited to plastic, right? We've used this on fragments or glass or metal, anything super slick, but now we're going to deal with a paper. So the fact that it's a paper is going to allow me to go in and stamp and immediately go in and wipe it off. And I can be as aggressive as I want to be, and it's going to leave all that detail of my stamp as a background. And it's completely smooth. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So, to, and it's heat stable, so you could stamp on it, emboss on it, and then color with it. You can color with, you know, alcohol ink, of course, but Copix, any of that that's going to be solvent is really going to give uh, that great kind of playful background. But I love, you know, using stencil.